I heard there's a new defect anthem. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to turn around. But where's Jay? What is up, Defects? We are back November 24th, the day before Turkey Day. It's the gobble, new comic book day show. Gobble, gobble. For those of you that are new to this, this is where we take that new comic book day pull list from Chris Nelms over at comicbookinvest.com. We take that list and we break it down Defects style. If you want to get a closer look at Chris Nelms' list, it's going to be a link in the description along as a link to the cbsi website ton of great information over there go take a look at the new comic book day pull list a little different than what we do here so definitely encourage you to go look at that before we get started guy forge this week is going to tell hey. us about our sponsors express comic book pressing service erod 212 he will blaze your books man he is the guy to go to defects 10 will get you 10 percent off he submits to cgc and cbcs that's erod man express Comic book pressing service. Mutant Beaver Comics out of Canada. We love those guys up there. They ship worldwide, Matty Forge. Did you know that? Worldwide? That's what I heard. They're the number one spot for all those variants, guys. So you know what? Exclusive variants coming out of Mutant Beaver. So like Jay always says, tell Patton the B-Man the defects sent you. All right, all right. Without further ado. Let's get into these books. Matty Forge, throw Chris's list up there so the defects can take a good look at it before we start rolling on these books. Coming in hot, coming in super hot, because I know people have been waiting for this. House of Slaughter number two from you know who, Boom Boom Studios. Uh, you got Cover A over there, which looks like someone's coming from behind. Watch out. And you got one in 25 foil variant. And then you got the one in 50 incentive. Looks like uh, broken glass everywhere. <laughs> you know, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Oh, we got another one too. One in 100. Get the big bucks out for that one, guys, because it is the house of slaughter. And guys, there's going to be a lot of local comic shop day books on here. And there's a second printing of house of slaughter number one. It's an LCSD. Check it out Wednesday, only in stores. Uh, that might be one that grabs, fetches some bread, as our boy the Butcher likes to say. I'm digging this, guys. Detective Comics 1045 from DC. You got Cover A. I'm just going to swipe that out of the way. And you got that Bermejo. Oh, man. That Let me tell you, that this, this dude knows how to draw Batman. That's all I'm saying. It's fantastic. No, no, like we just talked about local comic shop day, silver foil. That is, that is amazing. That is amazing. That's all I got to say. That's why it's on the list this week. Not much, not much more to say about that. Keeping with that DC train, you got task force Z number two. Um, something's got Bane a little bit crazy. I'm going to tell you that, right? That's Bane. That is Bane. Yeah, it's, Looks it's like Bane. It. <laughs> yeah, man. First appearance of Sundowner in this one, guys. You got that foil variant there, local comic. And then you got that Borrows. I mean, they're, they're putting local comic shop day, the Z up on top. You know, I guess if you're into it. I like it. I like it. Jay's going to be very happy because there hasn't been one movie reference so far yet. So let's see how far we can go without. Because it's like, for me and guys, it's like a tick. We just do it without even knowing it. Yeah, People it's think tough. it's planned. No. But right now, we're trying to, because Jay was like, I can't do it anymore. I can't miss any more shows. So <laughs> I'll tell you this much. What I'll, I'll tell you what I'm not going to miss is that 1 in 25 Nakayama, because that is a sick cover. And I love me some Wonder Woman. Uh, this is Wonder Woman Black and Gold number six, guys, from DC this week. Uh, cover A is pretty cool, but I'm going to tell you the Nakayama's the one the one to grab. Yeah, the, the covers on this series have been some of the best of 2021 
phenomenal. Just as an overall, I think probably the best cover art, if you want to put it for a whole series yeah. on 2021, it, every week it has been fantastic. So a little DC love here on the defects. Jump into Dark Horse. You got Joy Operations number one, guys. I'm just going to read this off because this sounded pretty cool. Um, Sci-fi special agent who keeps things in line for the people who are in charge. Obviously, she's being controlled by someone. She's excellent perfection and almost legendary in some parts. Until one day, a voice pops in her head and makes her question everything she has been programmed to believe. It sounds like one of those, like... You know, Will Smith, uh, what was that movie, Maddie? Are we allowed to say about movies right now? But Which one? iRobot. Like, uh, iRobot? Yeah, yeah, something yeah, like, yeah, okay. Something like that. Like something clicks in this, in this you know, special agent's head. It seems like she's programmed to act a certain way and to take care of shit. And then all of a sudden, like, she's hearing voices telling her, eh, it may not be, you know, <laughs> it may not be what you're thinking. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Next up, guys, you got from Marvel this week, Black Panther number one. We're starting this over, Maddie. What do you think? Yeah, we'll go through the covers real quick. Uh, the cover A, I think that's an Alex Ross. Awesome. I know guys digging that. One in 25 Sprat. Pretty cool. I like the use of the color there. Um, the Bianchi one in 50. Not bad. Not bad. And then we got one more, the one in 100 Amita Jr., which again, not bad. No, I'm not, not knocking my socks off, but I, but I dig it. All right, so this is from John Ridley, and this is from Juan Cabal, who is, is part of the Stormbreaker team. Uh, he's doing the illustrations, so I know Guy's going to like that because he likes the Stormbreakers. Um, so this is an all-new Black Panther series with an action-packed espionage story. So Agent of Wakanda, we're back to that kind of storyline. Secrets from T'Challa's past have come back to haunt him. Fresh from returning from his travels in space, Black Panther receives an unexpected and urgent message from a Wakanda secret agent. A lot of secrets. Like it said, espionage. You don't know who's telling the truth, who's lying. So this 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 could be good. I think the art's gonna be great. Storyline, we're gonna we're gonna find out. John really, we know he's a good writer, so this this should be one you at least give a shot to. I see a pattern this week with some agent stuff and everything like that and team ups and everything like that, because you this know what? True. The ne the next book from Marvel this week, you got Captain America and Iron Man number one. Cover A, I mean, who doesn't love, I mean, I don't even have to say it, guys. I'm, you, you know I'm all over Cover A. Um, Alex Ross, done. Next, the Jurgens one, Jurgens and Lotion. That's what I think of when I think of that. Um, yep. And you got the one in 50 Ross, obviously, which takes the, the, the wordage off the off that. So The wordage? Um, yeah, the wordage. This is your first day on the job? Yeah. But you listen, this is... Say, you just didn't want to say virgin after you said Jurgens? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This, just to let you know what's going on in this, it says a government agent turned Hydra provocateur stages a daring breakout on her way to prison, attracting the attention of both Iron Man and Captain America. So when Steve and Tony realize that they both have a connection to the slippery fugitive, they team up to track her down, only to discover she's not the only player on board with big plans and sinister motives. So it sounds like a cool team up. I'm 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 a hundred percent behind this, um, but this seems kind of like the, the little uh, plan we have for this week with this special agent team up kind of thing. I gotta be honest. After listening to that solicitation, I understand why there's a Jergens one in twenty five. <laughs> just just saying it. Uh, well, Maddie, Maddie, I'll take this one this week. You know, I think you did it on purpose. So you, you wanted to take the the kind of horror ones. You took it away from me just to prove me wrong this week. We have the Dark Hole Black Bolt. Number one. I mean, I'm glad Jay's not here to see this because he's a big fan of Black Bolt. And like, you know, me, I'm just now I'm fucking scared of Black Bolt. I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, guy, it's so funny because I actually did switch the slides on who's taking who's once I got to this and it was they, yours. So yeah. I went back and I redid them. So I would get this when you were a hundred percent right on that. See? Guys, I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you this much. People got... People got to put this fucking book down. Stop reading this book. Why do keep people, I, I people keep picking up the dark hole and read from it? I don't understand. I don't know, but that is exactly what's going on here. We know this is another tie-in. I haven't read any of the tie-ins. Jay said they have all been good so far. So there's four, I think it's four or five that we're going to get. 
they're trying to read the dark dark hole together to kind of because no, no one person can do it by themselves because they'll just go crazy as you can see on most of the covers everyone's going crazy anyway Kathan is upon us the dark hole <laughs> is going to be the the portal in which he gets to our universe this could be some foreshadowing i don't know but so far the story's been good the regular story i don't know about the tie-ins because i haven't read it i'm going to take the butcher's word for it. he says they've all been good and he says usually marvel tie-ins not that good so well, I gotta catch by up the on way tie-ins. it's not a bad thing to take the butcher's word for it that's a good way to get a look at a t-bone steak <laughs> <laughs> you walked either into that, that one gotta, either that you gotta stick your head up the bull's ass right see there you go Jesus Christ. I, I, you, I was just going to say something. Oh, about the horror. Yeah. So quick quick little side note before we get to the next book. I'll make this really quick. Let's not spend too much time on it. Guy Forge pulls up to my house. He goes, you're never going to believe it. Somebody sent me the effing book. Which book did they send you? And he doesn't even know who oh, sent it to I want to grab him. it. I don't even have it here. The, va the Marvel Vampires book. Son of a <laughs> bitch, man. Someone <laughs> sent it to my house. I go, who sent this to me? Put it in the comments. Tell me who sent it. I love it because all these weeks, all the horror books were like, send them to Guy, send them to Guy. Finally, somebody sent Man. one to Guy. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Guys, this week's from Marvel. You got Hawkeye, Kate Bishop. Obviously, with this with this show coming out, you know you're going to get this book, guys, right? Um, Kate's heading home or at least back to New York. And as much as she wants to go back to where her friends or chosen family are, she's changed since she was last on the East Coast. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, she's picked up a case on her way, obviously a confidence booster to prove herself and she's making the right decision and not going to backslide into her past by changing time zones. Besides, this is pretty cool. Listen to this. The case is perfect. Swanky Resort. Check. Jewel Heist. Check. Almost definitely 100% a trap. Check. So, you know what? I'm I'm on board with this. I, I'm 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 loving the new show that's gonna come out. I can't wait to see it. And I think this is gonna be cool. I think it's awesome. This literally drops the same day that the show is dropping. So Perfect time. Clearly Marvel. Clearly Marvel knows something. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Well, they know something about Oof. Hulk because Marvel Hulk number one. Maddie Forge, I know we got a couple different covers, but tell us what's going on here. Yeah. Uh, so I'll do I'll do the synopsis before we look at the covers. Uh, Donny Cates, he's back. We know he flip flopped with uh, Al Ewing, Ryan Otley on on the illustrations. He's doing the I think he did cover Ray as well. Um, Mad Scientist Part One of Six. Okay, so we're gonna get a little short six six issue story arc. I don't think that there's only six issues to Kate's his whole run, but I think that's what they're going to start with, that story arc. So um, this is a quick one, so I'm just going to read it. The uncontrollable rage of the Hulk has reached an all-new level, and nobody, including the Avengers, is prepared to handle it. But is it really the Hulk that people should be afraid of, or is there something missing to this puzzle? I don't... I honestly have no idea where this series is going. I haven't really <laughs> read a lot about it. Um, I, I did very little when it was first announced, and Kate's kind of just gave some weird explanation about how he was taking Hulk and getting back, you know, keeping the horror theme going from Immortal Hulk and, and taking it a little bit farther. Maybe some cosmic stuff uh, you could see there in the middle. Um, I don't know if that's that space robot Hulk that the Eternals fought. Is that? I don't know. Tell us in the comments. I, I, I should have looked at 1 in 10 up from Otley. Um, speaking of covers, we got the 1 in 50 Atoms, which is awesome. The detail on that is fantastic. You jump, you jump uh, to the next ones because I'll tell you that that triple variant, I, I, I love it. I love it. That's I love a, that's it. That's fantastic. Love it. Yeah, yep. I think that's a wrap. It might be a wrap around just from the way it's fallen on the page, but I'm not sure. And then get that one in two hundred blank out of here. Get, I, I, I want you. nothing to do with that. So, any, any, what's your favorite here, guy? The, the triple, without a doubt, the trimp, trimp, trimp. trimp? Okay, yeah. trimpy. Yeah, trimpy. Whatever. What is it? It's phenomenal. Trimpy. It's phenomenal. Yeah, uh, one in fifty is not bad. What do you think? It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Not my all favorite. Right. Tell us you're excited to read the series. I'm glad Donny Cates is back on a new Marvel series. Well, you got you got Iron Man number 14 coming out for Marvel this week too, guys. Um, Iron Man gets a new suit and some new powers. Who knows? What's he being called, Betty? What I'm hearing is Iron God. Hmm. Cosmic. You can see it says Cosmic there. So you got... He got the power cosmic. I mean, he looks Something's insane on cover, right? <laughs> Something's going on. 
Those aren't like yeah. pulsar rays coming from his hands. Those look like those looks like some some next level shit right there. That is interesting. Yeah, we'll so. see. If you're reading it, grab it, guys. Next up, you got Phoenix Song Echo, number two from Marvel this week. Matty Ford, give us a little info on this. Yeah, so um, the solicitation has me think that something's going on in this issue and the next issue. Maybe get some first appearances. A new ally with strange powers of his own claims to have the clues Maya needs to stop her timeline from unraveling. If you look ahead to number three, they're talking about um, an ancestor that has magical powers. Shocker. I mean, look at the cover. You already see what's going on in number two here. So I don't know if any, I, you know, I'm not reading this storyline. If you are, obviously you're probably going to want to pick it up. This is only number two, but if you're speculating at all, you gotta, you could get some first appearances, number two and maybe number three. So you're going to have to, it doesn't really give a lot, but if you're speculating, I would probably grab both if you can, you know, I, you know, I don't think they're going to be anything major. So but you never know. They all start out as nothings, right? <laughs> this week, guys, from Marvel, you got Star Wars number 19. Showing your cover A over there. Classic. I like it. I love it. That's, for me, the cover. Um, obviously, the JTC action figures. These action figures have been pretty popular. Um, but you got the Ewoks on there. Yubba, yubba, jub, jub. Jub, jub. Um, and then Ooh, you got, obviously, that 125 Gist variant. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know, but I'm okay with that. It. No, I, I enjoy it. Um, I still think cover A, I think they knocked it out of the park with that cover. It's great. Great yeah. angle, great depth perception. Um, I love what we're seeing. Like I think it's I think it's awesome. All right. Keep it moving. Also also this week, guys, you got Death of Doctor Strange number three. Let's explain this. You got cover A, and then you got the one in twenty five Jacinto variant. Um I'm just going to skip over that I like one. I'm on acid that's... looking at that yeah, one. Yeah, there's something. Someone took yeah. some shit when they made that one. Um, but this is the first cover appearance of the three mothers. I mean, <laughs> i got to be honest. We're just we've, been called, we've, been, we've been called that a few times, the three mothers. So, you know. Usually, usually followed up with another word that starts with an F, and it's not yeah. forge. And we, and, we, <laughs> and we had our first cover appearance recently, too. So there you go. How yeah, about that? Yeah, uh, I'm just curious though, who has the long neck? I don't know. All right, I don't tell know. us in the comments. <laughs> Moving right along to the Marvels, number six, brought out to you <clears throat> by Marvel. Um, this is the origin origin of Lady Lotus. Um, I'm gonna guess maybe that's her on the cover, right there. Yes, and uh, again, another origin. But the Marvels, the covers have been pretty cool. So, I mean, I, I think this is kind of like, this is on the list for two reasons. You got some cool covers every week, and you got an orange. Well, I know we got some badass Thor coming out this week, guys. Um, this is a new storyline. God of Hammers starts here, uh, as Maddie has so delightfully wrote in the notes for me. Sounds like a five-part oh. story with a new character named the God of Hammers. So you got that one in 25 frag variant. I'm okay with that, man. He's going nuts right there. That's badass. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not I'm not digging cover right, but the one in 25 is phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, yeah. the covers have been great this week. And we got Venom number two, guys, coming from Marvel this week. Um, I, I'm not really going to talk about a lot on this. Um, what's the name, Matt? Mer Meridus? Meridus. I don't know. Meridus? Is that... Is, is that him on on the on that uh, Torini variant? Yeah, that's the only you know that's just I believe it's a store exclusive. Usually we don't throw him up there, but that is his first cover appearance. First full appearance was in number one. Number one was great. Can't wait to read number two. These covers, they're not doing it for me. Any of them, to be honest with you. That Torini variant is pretty crazy, though. I mean, that's a pretty dope variant. I, I mean, again, the people are getting some angles out this week. They're changing up the depth. They're changing some angles. Good for you. Good for you, artists. I like it. Well, we got some X-Men on the list. X-Men number five from Marvel. Um, you got some reflection on cover A over here, and you got um, you got the girls going nuts on the McKelvey variant. Um, you got the first full appearance 
um, of Dr. Status. Yeah, and I think that's who there uh, is on cover A as well. That's the reflection. He's got the scalp. The Dr. Seems like Stat a doctor. Stas status or stasis? I don't know. With an I. It's weird. I don't know how to say that. Status, I believe. But yeah, that's, a, that's a pretty cool cover. I, I dig that. Yeah. Again, like you said, with the perception, I mean, that's pretty cool. We got we got some we got some cool cool art this week, guys. A lot of Marvel, Marvel heavy this week. Yeah. Well, we got some news about some X Men stuff this week too. So, um, the, you know, the timing, the timing. I see what you're doing, guys. I see what you're doing. X Men Legends number nine from Marvel brings back some pretty pretty cool memories, as far as I'm concerned. You got that foil variant with just a whole shitload of stuff going on over there. I feel like they oh my, they like brought in a bunch of covers. Yeah. <laughs> and just threw them on this one. Looks like a bunch of but covers I, threw I up on the foil. I actually dig that. I actually dig it, though, but it is a foil variant. But do you see what it says in the blue bubble there? No. What does it say? It says the adamantium foil variant. Whoa. You might want to pick that one up. Yes. That's cool. Very cool. Very cool. All right, boys and girls, time for Chris Nelms' pick of the week. This week, he's got Superman, Son of Kal-El, number one. The third printing incentive variant, that one in 50. Here's what Chris has to say. There are several books this week that have already popped. Wonder Woman Nakayama, Girl Scouts Momoko, Star Wars Adventures Annual Low. But he's liking this one. He's saying a third print cover of the controversial kiss from issue number five on the issue he first appeared in. Great pick by Chris Noms as always. All right, Defects, that wraps up the new comic book day show. But before you go anywhere, some info that you definitely want to hear. So first off, you know if you've been here before, Tuesday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on Keep It Thorough Comics, the CBSI train on YouTube rolls on with the Indie Spotlight series. You definitely want to check out that show. The link is going to be in the description, along with all of our other friends of the channel. Important schedule announcement. This week, of course, there's a live show. We do live shows every other Wednesday, so join us on Wednesday night. We're probably doing another giveaway. It's the Thanksgiving Eve, so it should be a fun show. Got a lot of MCU news to talk about. Thursday's video, which is going to be Thanksgiving, is probably going to be moved to Friday morning. So it's not our usually usual time slot. So if you could do us a favor, help us out with the algorithm. Make sure you're on the lookout for that video. Friday morning, maybe late morning. Give it a view. I think you guys are going to really like it. Should I tell them what it is? Or we'll just make them wait. It's a defects discuss. Yeah, you're going to like this one. I'll give you... I'll give you that, but you're going to like this one. You're definitely going to want to comment and tell us if we're crazy or not. So stay tuned. Love having you guys around. Join us for the live show. I think that's it. So for the pressable defects, catch you on the next new comic book day show.